This week, we celebrate inspiring comeback stories from student athletes all across the state. Yeah, tonight, our sports reporter Rich and I takes us to Crawfordsville to see how a football player works so his career could continue. CP Porter is taking his final six classes to graduate from Wabash College in May. Dead center. Dead center? Yeah. Yep. All right, it's yours. In physics class, his lab group earns extra credit by when he missed experiment to keep the heat in a hot brick. What temperature are we at right now? 224. His given name is Kamalan. The guys on campus know him as CP, a running back from Indianapolis on the Little Giants football team. CP's football career is over now, but ended on his terms. Porter cuts it back. In the fall of 2012, CP suffered a serious hip injury, trying to recover his own fumble. I my left, my left hip, so my knee was on the ground like this, and the guy fell on me and just drove everything straight up. CP's hurt. He's in some pain. And his head of his femur just went straight up through his socket. So it was dislocated, but it was fractured as well. It was, it was a mess. Doctors used 15 screws and a metal plate to rebuild Porter's hip. They told you you weren't going to play football again, right? Correct. Yeah, they, uh, they actually told me that uh, I'd probably have a hard time walking without a limp. Before he was even able to get out of the wheelchair, they were saying, you know, poor guy. But he uh, persevered, and it was amazing to see him go through all those steps. And he made a huge impact just on the player seeing his determination and his work ethic. I think that, that motivated everybody to push themselves harder. Less than a year after his devastating injury, CP returned to action in the closing minutes of the 2013 season opener. So I, was, I was really nervous to have him out there. CP Porter's first carry. I think the crowd, the team, you could just hear a pin drop. And like everyone was holding their breath, and he, he just punched it through. And, it was, it was awesome. CP later scored a touchdown. He went on to carry the ball 50 times last season and played in nine games. I, I was able to overcome something that a lot of other people thought I couldn't. They willed him in. CP Porter. Um, just to be able to do that, I think it really solidified for me, you know, um, just determination. CP used grant money to start his own clothing company last spring. This is our monogram W and the WAF logo. Um, that's kind of the theme I went with. Several of his college apparel designs were purchased by the campus bookstore and include the school motto, Wabash always fights. Um, when we're down, we're, we're going to keep fighting. And um, it's not just in terms of athletic competitions. It's just in all aspects of life. And uh, I, really, I really hold that to my heart um, just because I think that's a, a big part of who I am. The character I've become is because of the school. CP's fight inspired the entire campus, where he proudly walks without a limp. Certainly overcoming the predictions yeah, nice there. Comeback. Congratulations, CP Porter. New at 6, we've got a warning for women tonight. One man accused of indecent exposure, even home invasion. Why 